It's Monday, June 1st, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. Militants belonging to the Islamic State blew up the Tadmor prison near the ancient site of Palmyra in Syria over the weekend. The detention center used to hold thousands of political prisoners and was an important symbol of government control over the area. According to activists, Syrian officials removed prisoners earlier this month before Palmyra fell to the Islamic State group. Students across Nepal returned to their classrooms for the first time since a massive earthquake hit the country more than a month ago. Relief organizations repaired and built makeshift classrooms out of local materials like bamboo in preparation for the students' return. Rubble from the 7.8 magnitude quake still surrounds many of the learning centers. Officials said more than 8,000 schools suffered damage, and aftershocks kept pushing back the start date of classes. Crews began demolishing the burnt-out headquarters of former Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak's political party in Cairo on Sunday. The National Democratic Party building, situated on the banks of the Nile, was a symbol of Mubarak's iron-fisted rule. The concrete tower was completely gutted during the uprisings in 2011. Contractors working on the demolition project said it would take about three months to complete. A tough new smoking ban is taking effect across China on Monday. The new measure prohibits smoking in all indoor public places, workspaces, and on public transportation. Beijing International Airport closed all 14 of its smoking rooms in response, and plans to create a total of 17 outdoor smoking spaces instead. Data from China's Center for Disease Control shows that about 1.5 million people die from smoking-related diseases each year in the country. Check out the Vice News YouTube channel for more original reporting and documentaries from around the world. The idea behind this gun was that it was something by people for people. Конкретно этот автомат принадлежит одному из бойцов спецподразделений. Он с ним защищает мир и воюет с террористами. Нам очень обидно видеть в фильмах, чаще всего в голливудских, что плохие парни с автоматами Калашникова всегда.